And we're back. Thanks for tuning in again today, folks. Uh, One to five all afternoon. You're listening to the Drew Marshall Show. And we're trying to cover the subject of evil. And uh, for many of you, that simply means your mother-in-law. But uh, it's a little deeper than that these days, folks. The devil has always been alive and well. The devil personifies evil. Absolutely evil, totally destructive. It's like the boogeyman now. You believe in God, he's going to save you. Well, what's the source of evil in the world? It must be Satan. Well, the devil's more exciting, he's more fun. Sex is bad. Devils are bad. Do you take the high ground, or do you walk with the devil? Abba is demonic. That's that's a moot point right there. Um, you just can't get it out of your head. It's like a demonic trance. But they just want to say, okay, we're living in a predominantly Christian nation, and we're feeling the oppression of this monotheistic Judeo-Christian belief system, and we want to say a big fat screw you. So we're going to take your Satan that you believe in, and we're going to worship him just to freak out. But that's not, they just, they don't believe in a literal Satan. It's basically their way of rebelling against uh, the system. It's just a digit difference between I love you and Satan rules. The heavy metal scene or whatever. I mean, I, ch- I chuckle at it these days. I've got teenagers now, and if they put up a, you know, some sort of uh, death metal poster with a picture of Satan on it, eh, whatever. That's the least of my worries of my kid. Now, if he starts to go down at some mega trend where he's depressed 24-7 and wants to cut himself and others, I'd be a little concerned. And so we live here in North America, and what's predominantly dictating our culture is Hollywood. And so we have to look at, at what Hollywood has taught us about culture, and I think we then need to map that up against what the Bible says about Satan, the devil, or what history has said about Satan or the devil. I think it would be unwise to not take him seriously and I think would be unwise to take him too seriously. One of the reasons I am clinging to my faith by the skin of my teeth (laughs) is because of the evil I've seen. So I I tend to believe that there's a God, mind you I'm still struggling (laughs) with that these days, based on on the presence of evil. Most people I guess maybe go the other way. They think there's a God and therefore there must be evil but always been a little different. 